A new political party launches in Essex this evening, promising to re-engage people with politics. A new political party had its regional launch in Essex this evening. It's called Renew and wants to re-engage people with politics. It's also campaigning for Britain to remain in the EU. Our political correspondent, Andrew Sinclair, reports. As we stand today, a majority of this country would choose to remain. Tonight at the University of Essex, Britain's newest political party made its pitch to local students. It wasn't a brilliant turnout, but the party says these are early days. It doesn't officially launch until next week. Earlier in the day, some leafleting in Colchester High Street. Renew calls itself a centrist, non-ideological, pro-EU party. It's hoping to reach out to those who've become disillusioned with politics. We think a lot of people have been ignored for too long and that's really harming the, the government that we've got in this country and we, we want to fix that. You're centrist and pro-EU. We already have the Liberal Democrats who do that. Yeah, unfortunately, the Liberal Democrats have, uh, have been discredited. Their, their role in coalition has meant that lots of people aren't willing to listen to them and don't trust them. I was really keen to join Renew because I feel there isn't really a party that represents my views accurately. It's already recruited and vetted 250 candidates to stand in the next general election, some of them in our region, although it hasn't decided where yet. The party is trying to model itself on the French president Emmanuel Macron's En Marche movement, which reached across the traditional left and right wing boundaries to connect with voters, many of whom had never voted before. I don't have a very good knowledge of it at the moment, so... So a new party might work for you? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Anything pro you, I think you've got a short lifespan. We've had all these silly parties come in and they've never... never come to anything, have they? I mean, good luck to them if they do. Renew accepts that it faces an uphill struggle trying to launch a pro-EU party in a region like ours, but it says voters, particularly younger voters, are disillusioned with all the mainstream parties. But as tonight's turnout has shown, there's still a long way to go for this new party. Andrew Sinclair, BBC Look East, at the University of Essex. Well, as we heard, the party is trying to model itself on the French En Marche movement. But as Professor Paul Whiteley, a political lecturer at the University of Essex, told me, Renew faces an extra challenge here. Macron's party was helped by the electoral system in France, the PR electoral system, and our system makes it very difficult for parties to establish themselves, um, you know, at the beginning. Because, of course, we've got 290-odd parties, haven't we? Um, many uh, of which no one's ever heard of and uh, many of which no one ever votes for. Yes, but we've always had lots of parties and some of them very eccentric. Um, but this idea is to do something that's been very effective in France. After all... Um, Macron established his party in 2016 for the first time, and a year later it won the general election and he won the presidency. So it was an astonishing achievement. But Renew are standing, aren't they, on this pro-European kind of second referendum ticket. Now, that's not going to go down well, is it, with many uh, voters in this region uh, that uh, backed Brexit? Well, that's true. We were a very uh, uh, brexit orientated um, region in the referendum, um, you know, campaign. Um, but remember, so far, the polls um, representing people who favour Remain and people who favour Brexit are still fairly balanced. So there's a big group out there which they're probably wanting to target. They're a minority group. But nonetheless, if a newly established party can get, say, 5 10 percent um, from this, they will really then put their heads above the parapet and can start building. You've studied politics for, for many years now. If you were a betting man, mm. would you put any money at all on, on Renew? Well, <laughs> not right now. But remember, uh, UKIP started in 1993... It was started by an academic and only a handful of people took any notice. And in the end, look what happened. So these days when uh, politics is so turbulent and, and uh, variable, um, who knows what might happen in the future? Who knows? Professor Wiley, thank you very much.